What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Chef Stacker LA. Happy Monday evening to everybody. Thank you for stopping in. This video will be recapping my Saturday visit to the Long Beach Coin Expo. The expo was a three day show, guys Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I ended up going Saturday because that was the time I was able to make it. Parking per vehicle was $15, $10 admission per person. Um, again, guys, I went Saturday, but I found out Thursday night that something pretty gnarly happened there Thursday. We had a two pound gold heist. Yes, that is correct, Bob guys. Bob is offering a tip now at 4.30. A crook strikes gold in Long Beach. And now the search is on for that thief who swiped a gold nugget worth more than $82,000. And tonight, a reward is being offered for any information that leads to it. Guys, that happened Thursday. Um, it's really terrible to hear that, to know that a dealer there lost a, all of that money in such a quick uh, in a split second, right, guys? And chances are these pieces are not insured. I have yet to find out any information if the burglar was apprehended. At the By the way it looks, guys, that guy has gotten away scot-free. So I want a big shout-out to OC Stacker and Stacking Surfer for allowing my girlfriend and I to come in without paying. Thank you for the donation passes. Um, my friend... A co-worker, she did pay, and her ticket was 10 bucks. Uh, OC did say he could get me another pass, but I was like, no, it's okay, bro. I appreciate you nonetheless. Um, after a few minutes chatting with OC, he immediately showed me this really beautiful 15 Mexican peso. It was not a restrike, guys, but an original. Um, and uh, I told him, let me marinate on this, because he was offering it to me. So I said, let me marinate on it. Maybe we can make a deal with uh, some a swap, silver for gold swap. I have something he wants, which is a sterling silver worth set. And, you know, I'm interested in swapping it for silver or gold. Uh, so I told him, let me think about it. Let me walk around. We just got here and uh, the girls need some jewelry. So we ended up walking around a little bit. We hit up a few stands, uh, obviously the ones that were selling jewelry, because that's what the girls were looking for. And after we hit up a few people, we went back to this one gentleman who was very nice and he gave us the best prices. He was $10 over on uh, 14 karat gold. So spot price per gram on 14 karat was $41. He was selling at 50. Spot price for 10 karat gold was $30, $31. He was selling for 36. So of course we bought some jewelry from him because he was the best price in the whole show. And he was nice and uh you know um we appreciate that guys he he gave us some good deals the girls left with some 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 a good amount of jewelry i didn't buy any jewelry but uh, i did buy something for a co-worker and i made 20 bucks on that deal so that paid for my parking and a uh, five dollar gas <laughs> i guess right a gallon there um after we bought some jewelry for the girls mind you that took about an hour an hour and a half of walking around and looking for the best prices I stopped in and said hi to Sebastian and Stacy. Um, those guys were doing well. They look busy, which is nice to hear. S every once in a while, I would peek over to OC Stacker and Surfer's table, and I noticed that they were busy every single time I peeked over there. So it was nice to know that they they were making they were doing some business. Happy to hear that. Scrooge McStack also uh, uh, bump I, I also bumped into Scrooge McStack. Excuse me which was very nice. Nice to see him there. Nice to see you, Scrooge. He uh, was trading some goodies for some goodies, and he showed me this really beautiful mixed Scrooge gold um, piece, which was pretty awesome, man. And it was 24 karat. So um, Scrooge loves his gold. Scrooge loves his silver. But don't we all, right, guys? Um, so as we were heading out, we, of course, went back to go see OC and Surfer again. And OC was uh, still asking me about making a deal on that peso. I told him, give me a day. I'll throw a number at you, put the coin aside, and uh, and we'll go from there. What I did buy, though, was two dose pesos from OC. One was for my coworker who wanted a piece of gold. Um, and it, it wasn't the coworker that joined us. That was another coworker. Even though, though the coworker that joined us uh, did pick up one of the two dose pesos. So she was very happy about that. My coworker, my sous chef at work, was also very happy about his dose peso. $125 is not a bad price. The best price I picked up a dose peso for was $115, and that was uh, about a year ago. 
So, you know, the premium wasn't too high. Melt value on that piece was 20, excuse me, uh, $111. By the way, guys, melt value on the Mexican gold peso on Saturday was $27.60. Um, just to give you an idea of melt value. And uh, I did not end up getting that coin, guys. OC did sell that coin later on in the show, and I believe he got like $28.50 for it, which is a killer deal, guys. If you guys were there, anybody could have come up on that deal. I mean, you will never, and I will, and I mean this 100%, you will never find a Mexican gold peso that close, an original, not a restrike, but an original, that close to melt, ever. Um, so great deal. Um, too bummer I didn't get it, but you know what? I'll get other things, and it's all good. And uh, OC, I believe we made it. Well, we did make a deal yesterday. I went to visit him, and um, we're swapping silverware for some ninety percent. So we'll get. I'll do a, a recap on that when when that happens. I'll probably see him at the Buena Park show this Sunday. Um, a viewer was asking me about pricing, so let me pull up their name really quick. It was S Lau. Um, Slaw2091, who asked, uh, just curious, Chef, how are the prices at the show for rounds and junk? Well, buddy, I will let you know that generics were selling for $31 an ounce, 90% silver. I saw times 23 and times 24 and a half. So it was, it was, uh, it was up there price, but you know, Melt Valley is like 21 and a half. So, you know, prices aren't that bad guys, but, um, you know, I love buying 90% at under 20. I didn't look for pricing on eagles guys they were everywhere I'm, i wasn't really concerned about silver eagles at the moment um i don't really have any other pricing on any other items right uh i mean what else is there you know uh gold bullion i wasn't looking for gold bullion but i did find those two beautiful dose pesos that was saturday guys it was a fun day i only had two hours to spend though i because i had to go to work after in the afternoon um but great show, guys. Let me show you one thing real quick. I have a few wristbands from the shows that I've been to. I am missing a wristband from last September, but oh well. I know I was there, so that's all that matters. Sunday was a great day, guys. Before I end this, I purchased a couple of goodies. I got this uh, in the waistband holster there. Check that out. I bought 200 rounds of 9 milli, 200 rounds of 22s. Um, my girlfriend put a deposit on a Glock 26, so I'm very happy for her. I'm proud of her. She's going to get her first firearm legally in the state of California in the next couple of weeks before the 11% tax uh, surcharge uh, starts, which is the 1st of July. Anyways, guys, it's your boy, Chef Stacker Olay. I hope you are entertained. If so, please hit the like, please subscribe, please share. It's your boy, Chef Stacker LA. If you don't got it, go out there and get it because it's beautiful, it's shiny, it's waiting for you. Viva Mexico and Viva America. Peace out, guys. Your boy's out.